important for the first thing they do. Yeah. So it's good for them to actually advance and intermediate and develop skills. Um, I can ask him, but like, they want to work. So he's 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 moving. I don't know. They want all of her instructions and best things. So, but he asked us. Yes, sir. Can I kind of go for um karate class?
Good job, man. And hey, if you feel like you can move the warm up one day too, continue doing all the things you know you're supposed to do, especially during the warm up, those are the people that I choose to do the warm up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Those that are focused and doing their stretches out every the same way every time, just because they know what's up. Right? Yeah. So if you want to be in the front, if you want that responsibility, you got to show that you can handle that responsibility. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Stand tall. Yes, sir. yes, sir. We have been working on the drunken and the dragon section of the 108. Last class, we did, uh, sorry, last week, we did like a study hall type thing to get us all on the same page for the most part. It doesn't matter if you weren't here, that's okay. We'll make sure we're all on the same page. And then we did a few more moves, I believe, on Wednesday, right? Nice preview. So let's see what we remember. If you don't know it and you feel like, ah, oh, just copy or stop. Five animals loop. Two tigers, hide the trail. Tame the tiger, shoot the tiger. Eight drunken gods. Old man exits the cave. That's all right, it happens. If you haven't fallen in class, you're probably not training that hard. One finger asks a question. One finger asks a question. First star punching method. Second star punching method. Second star punching method. 
So when you finish these motions at the purple sash, you want to not wobble at all. Be very solid in your stance. Bend that front knee. Two fists continually punching downward. Two fists continually punching downward. Now, when you do a bow stance, both of the feet are flat. Both of the feet are flat on the ground. Yeah. Immediately punching upward. Immediately punching upward. Fist like an arrow. Fist like an arrow. Pull sweep, push sweep. Pull sweep, push sweep. Fist like an arrow. Fist like an arrow. Pull sweep, push sweep. Pull sweep, push sweep. Monkey feel the beaches. Monkey feel the beaches. Dragon thrusts its claws. Dragon thrusts its claws. The right hand goes down and the left hand pushes. Sweep the sea to push them out. Sweep the sea to push them out. That's a cross stance. You balance. Take it down. Dragon stretches his claws. Dragon stretches his claws. Good. Ah, and those are fists. So the fists stay closed. Hook a star with a fist. Hook a star with a fist. Tiger pushes them out. Tiger pushes them out. Flying arrow fist. Flying arrow fist. Feet together. Five animals loop. Five animals loop. Two tigers hide the trail. Two tigers hide the trail. Very good, reset. So I know last class we did go over some of the squatting for the lands in the sand and things like that, but let's get really solid on what we have just done. Anybody have any questions? Is that confusing? Is any of that confusing for anyone that they know of? Raise your hand. No, we can all do that by ourselves. If I ask you to lead it, you can do it. Raise your hand if you can lead it. Okay, then a few of us need a little help. That's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, sometimes that helps. You don't need a question and answer. You just have to do it over some more. So raise your hand if you know it again. Okay? Maddie, come stand over there and, uh, to the right. Eric, scoot up to that front square. William, I'd like you to come over with Aiden and Mr. Payne and be Madeline's partner. Ian and Aileen and Leo, I'd like you to come over here and be Eric's partner. Now, look around in your group. There should be two higher rank, two lower rank. Can you tell? Yes, two highest rank are going to lead first. Next are going to lead second. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. While you're leading, I mean, while you're following, you're, you're paying attention to how they do their stances and the name. So that when it's your turn to get up there, you can do your part. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. All right. Bow to your partners and give it a try. We're going to be doing new motions probably at the top of the hour. Give it a try. i got five minutes. Should be doing it four times total. Stand, stand tall. Yes, ma'am. Five minutes to loop. Five minutes to loop. Two times to the trail. Two times to the trail. Okay. Stand the tiger, shoot the tiger. Stand the tiger, shoot the tiger. Five minutes to loop. Two times to the trail. 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 First star punching man. Second star punching man. Two fists continually punching downward. Two fists punching downward. Immediately punching upward. Two fists like an arrow. Full sweep, push sweep. Two fists like an arrow. Pull sweep, push sweep. Monkey steals the peaches. Monkey steals the peaches. Dragon stretches the claws. Dragon claws. Pull sweep, push sweep. Dragon stretches the 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 claws. Pull sweep, push sweep.
Yeah. No. So it so it'll be a timing thing when you go to your strips and you step around. Mm -hmm. This is not what you're doing. You have to catch that timing just right. Yeah, we were able to do that on the pad last class. You know, yeah, let's go. Y'all's break wasn't supposed to be that long. If you can start a conversation that's too long, you should be stretching and drinking water on your breaks. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. That goes for everybody. Okay. So now I want y'all, do you have any other questions? Any other questions? Well, I, can ask, I can ask another 20 minutes of questions. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's grab a pad. We're going to grab a pad. William B. Mr. Payne's partner. Actually, Aiden. Whose group are you in? You're in this group? B. Mr. Payne's partner. William B. Uh, Maddie's partner. Don't stay on the group you were standing with. Okay? Who are you from? Okay. Ian B. Leo's partner first. And Eric, you're going to be Aileen's partner first. <clears throat> All right, now. So what you're doing on the pad is your partner's going to do their strike, right? So instead of um, we're going to set it, set it, we're going to set up like the form. So what you're going to do is you're going to stand square and you're step forward with your right foot. Actually, yeah, step forward with the right foot. So just with the heel, you see how this leg is bent? My heel is forward. That's because I'm going to sink to a horse stance. Does that make sense? Okay. So you're going to have this hand out as if you're going to you're blocking already. You're going to sink to your horse stance and you're going to strike the pad with these two knuckles. Try to strike with these two knuckles. Mm -hmm. Boom, like that. Uh huh. So you're going to strike, boom, and you're going to try to strike the pad flat. So that means your partner's going to hold the pad like this, like a crab cake. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, now, second, second, orient yourself like the form. So if you are the person doing the move, you need to be facing the front. And if you are the pad holder, you need to be on this side facing the back. Uh-huh. Okay, now bow to your partner, put the pad on your right hand, because that's the, the way we do it in the form. Put your pad on your right hand and get started. Look at all this space. It's almost like a cat's hand, but just with a heel board. 
because that is the position you're in when you sink to your horse. Does that make sense? Uh, sure. So that's why I say it's like this. But if the foot's relaxed and you're standing even, it's a lot to talk with this man. I need to really listen to my words. I don't to talk to this. So, so I need you to stand. It's like a cat stand. But, uh, all the way is on the back. There you go. Now put your hand out. Put it out. Uh, and straighten that back on. And now sink to your horse. <laughs> Yes, like that. Does that make sense? That's what I want to see. <laughs> yeah, right. Do that. Do that. All right, now show me. Show me your back to the Show me your really, show me the thing I told you to do first. That's, that's close. You should really heel down. That's good. Okay, and you can twist it like this with your other hand forward. We just did, we just did dragon stretches his claws, right? So we just went here, so the arm is already out. So when I turn the step, this is the position that we're in now. So when you sink to your horse, it should be a step forward with that, bend that back leg. Turn this step forward. Bend the knee. Bend it and shift all your weight back into that leg. There should be no weight in the front leg almost. So all your weight in the back leg. Yeah, like a cat. Stay very good. Stay there. So I'm here. Now you're going to sink to a horse. And strike the pad. The pad, you're going to strike with these two knuckles, and the fist is flat. Like that. Does that make sense? It doesn't punch straight like this. It curls. Does that make sense? Cool. Okay, so it starts straight, curls as you swing. With this hand. Don't follow through. Stop it right at the jaw. Yes? Remember the starting stretch? Does that hurt more power? Uh, because you had momentum and everything, yeah. and you, when you stop something really short, everything behind it takes off. So the power's already there because you had all the momentum. Uh -huh. You can't be here and just stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If I go past it, what happens is the force is rotated over how much further they move past it. Yes. Yes. It's funny because when you y'all y'all have a similar class, I, that's all I was saying. I was like, you and Mr. Nelson don't have to shoot. Give yourself more momentum, so straighten your arm and shift your weight back all the way to the Seconds. And T. Okay. Bounce 
your partner and come on up. Grab your pads and put them on the put them in the front. Put them on the ground. Set them on the ground. That's okay. You can leave it like that. You can leave it like that. You can lift it like that. Wrap it back up. Mm -hmm. Set it down. Very good. So. Because sometimes we do applications, a lot of those applications have to do with striking, I want you to start bringing your gloves. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So you don't have to bring your whole gear bag because we're not going to spar for a little while, as far as I know, until we get some type of, and just listen, until we get some type of knowledge, right? We don't know what, when we're going to be able to spar again. But we can still do applications. Bring your gloves so you don't tear your knuckles up. Striking incorrectly on the pad. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So sometimes when the pad is wrong, we'll strike the pad. I mean, when our strike is incorrect, we'll hit the pad in a way that bothers the hand. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. So to undo that, it's okay if you broke the skin a little bit. You'll be fine. And your hand may or may not be sore tomorrow, but you'll still be fine. Uh, next class, bring your gloves. Yes, sir. And if you have gloves at home, make sure to remember strap them together so you don't lose them. Yes, sir. All right. The pad itself actually requires persistent action. Persistent action achieves a goal without quitting. The pad itself actually requires persistent action. Persistent action achieves a goal without quitting. The path of self-manager requires persistent action. Persistent action achieves a goal without quitting. Bow to advanced and intermediate level students. Very good job.